Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 541. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first up is winners of Tell Your Tale Contest Ponies Round 2. Uh, apparently there are even more winners than we had in quote unquote yesterday's post. Tell Your Tale Ran Contest in Malaysia. Uh, Latam Pak... Uh, Latam... Pack and Indonesia too. Uh, go check the results below. Cool, cool. I, I, hmm. I didn't hear anything about this one. I, I do wish that they, um, what you call this? I, I do wish that they, uh, tell which pony or which contestant is from which. So at least we can kind of take a look. See, uh, all right. Anywho, anywho. So let's see here. We, we got this pony design. Uh, let's have a zoom in. And tell your tail, well, pony tell your tail, design your own pony tail. Great, okay. Don't forget to add your cutie mark. That's all good. Hasbro 2022. Don't, don't lagi di YouTube. Oh, I think this one could be Malaysia. Alright, so we got a this is pretty good. This this is a pretty good, uh, good drawing. Uh, so, her name is Flower Queen. <laughs> flower. I, I do like that. Uh, uh, the way that they spell flower. <laughs> flower Queen. And her cutie mark is a rose petal with one of them being a crown. Color tone is green and yellow, which is not bad, with a reef crown on her head. So that's pretty cool. Um, in terms of design, I like it. It's simple. Uh, she, I, I'm assuming it's a girl that did this. Um, and the what the, the drawing here with the tones and whatnot, that's pretty good. I, I like that. I like that. If I have to critique a bit, uh, the cheekbone here could have been done a little bit smaller or thinner. But hey, um, good job, good job. Now let's see how the folk at um, the production company did it. Hasbro, I think. I, I don't know, man. It's been a while. So, <clears throat> yeah. That's kind of one-to-one. -one. Yeah, that, that, that is one-to-one. -one. Like, if this was a reimagining of the ponies in the show, I would say, yeah, this is pretty close. This is, this is actually impressive. Yeah, even with the necklace, the, um, what you call that, um, floral or reef crown. Yeah, this, this is pretty good. This is a really good interpretation of the character in show canon. So that's cool. That that is really cool. So let's check out the other one. Uh, nombre, nombre, uh, car car two pony. Okay, I don't know how to say that one. Um, character name, uh, pony name, Princess Majestic, Majestic. Um, I got no idea, <laughs> no idea what. Uh, this was what last year, all right. Oh boy, I got no idea. Um, mm, okay, so this is the pony uh, cutie mark. I got no idea what that man. So let's let's see how they interpret that in show canon. Hmm. Oh, is it a seashell? Oh, is it a skirt? Hmm. Okay, so we have multiple um, colors for the pony with a pink or purple um, front hoof and green and blue hind legs. That, that's what I'm thinking and that's what the people who are creating this are interpreting it with a wing, a pegasi wing. Okay. I, I don't know, man, like, 
I, I don't see the bandana. Probably there's a bandana here. But all in all, this is a really good interpretation. Like, I, I got no idea what... Uh, I, I got no idea what this is. But the showrunners, they did something and it's pretty cool. Uh, pretty good. I'm, I'm, <coughs> I'm tripping on my words. Whew. Okay, let's see this one. Okay, this one is on your own ponies. I'm forgetting to give you mark. Get your tail. Your last year. I can't tell. This maybe is one of the Western countries. This looks printed. All right, no problem. Um. So her cutie mark is a cupcake with a chair. No, there's a strawberry. Strawberry on top. Her color scheme seems to be yellow with splotches of pink or uh, peachy with some sprinkles on it. Her mane is curly and whatnot. Okay. Shortcake, strawberry, dessert pony. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, this, this seems to... Yeah, this seems okay. I, I, I can't really say much. Uh, okay, now, interpretation. I like what they did with the main. The main is rather unique. Uh, that means the showrunners had to kind of create a new main style for this one. Yeah. Um, spots on the uh, hind hoof and front hoof and whatnot. Yeah, th this is cool. This is this is a cool pony. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it. And last but not least, this one. Uh, tell the tail This sign. They sign kuda pony mo sendiri di sini. This is Indonesian, clearly. Alrighty then, uh, let's see, a unicorn, uh, ice cream themed, I like the subtle t uh, coat tone, um, probably vanilla to uh, some kind of chocolate, but let's see, uh, nama orang tua, wali, uh, meaning par pa pa parents? I'm sorry. Um, I'm really blur. I'm I'm guessing the guardian's names or or her name is Nikki. Well, okay. Uh, I'm gonna highly guess that the showrunner is gonna call her Nikki. No, Sunday, po Sunday. Okay, that's pretty cool. Her pony name is Sunday, and yeah, this is. This is a really cool design. Uh, like I mentioned before, I do really like the color tone, the main style, the um, subtle, uh, what you call this, dessert kind of element on the pony. This is really cool. And this is what we get. And I say that, yeah, this keeps the essence of what the character is. Uh, she's a kind of uh, happy-go-lucky uh, dessert kind of per pony where she just enjoys the simple things in life. I'm not sure about her unicorn horn. I know it's a ice cream cone that's been placed there. You you could even say that she's an earth pony with an ice cream cone on her head. So yeah, that, that could work too. Uh, other than that, yeah, this looks good. Show interpretation is good. So... Yeah, um, I'm not 100% sure if Tail Tail is going to still keep going on. But I do really like the... What you call this? Uh, I do really like the competition that they did and inserting the ponies into the show. That's a lot of fun. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, next news is... Galacon returns September 6 to 8 in 2025. We got another Galacon confirm. September 6 to the 7th. At Weiblinger, Germany is the place to be if you want to celebrate the ponies next year. Yay! This is fun and cool. Uh, it seems that a lot of 
I won't say a lot, but some of the conventions are still going on and are keeping going, uh, especially the American conventions. From what I heard, that they're going, they're still going. Like um, Ponyville Cider Fest is still happening in Milwaukee. That's what Silver told me. So that's awesome and cool. So if you ever, if you're in the European Union and are in the Germ or, or close to Germany, this is a good chance for you to hang out with the German bronies over there. I I forgot if last year if they have any, but this year, that's right. Next year, yeah. Here's your chance. Head over, head over there, head over there. So we on the next news. New collectible card set announced from Caillou, a magic book. So, <clears throat> Caillou has announced set of cards starting pri primarily Equestria Girl this time, including everyone from the main six to the series and background characters. As always, they will be available in buying box for anyone that wants to collect them in China. Hopefully, these companies all uh, all come to other countries soon. Uh, get galleries below. Alrighty then. So, I'm guessing these are all the cards that they're previewing. And I'm guessing th they're multiple style of cards with certain backings and so on. And they come in this kind of... No, I think this is the box that the pack comes in. This is kind of cool. You have what your main girl with their pony self, and they look pretty cool. So that's awesome. Uh, and then you have character poses. Nothing showing about the background pony. Uh, shake your tail. Laugh it off. No one said it's a crime. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Now now I see what you're talking about the background. So you have uh, what? Sonata and you got Spike here, also the main six. So yeah, um here's something to report. Um yesterday I went and hang out with a friend of mine who was uh, who moved to uh, another country but they came back here to visit family and friends and <clears throat> I'm one of those lucky friends that they visited. We went to the mall and said mall had a lot of um, Caillou stuff. So I, I did saw some of the pony things that I reported on and some of the prices are pretty good and well pretty interesting like they were at two ringgit that would be probably about 50 cents your uh, American money. I, I don't know how you guys would uh, pay for it when if, if you get it. Probably there's going to be some import tax and whatnot, and probably you'll be paying about a dollar for a pack. I don't know. Probably, but uh, yeah, we we have them here locally, and it seems that the shop is importing them in. So that's interesting. That that is very interesting. So to say that Americans will get this, there's a high chance. There is a high chance that you might get them. Unfortunately, in my situation, I probably won't buy it heavily. Maybe if I do, I'll just buy one or two packs, but not in the sense where I would buy Magic the Gathering packs. And the only reason why is that I don't have anybody to trade cards with. If I have somebody to trade cards with, I would happily do... Uh, I would happily buy them and uh, fill my binder with this. So yeah, this is pretty cool. And I'll probably do another buy update. I, I did one for the Patreon. So if you are curious, go check it out over there. Anyway, um, <clears throat> last but not least, interesting G4 heartwarming plushies on AliExpress. Oh my god, they're so adorable. Yay! This up, uh, uh, this unique G4 plushies with heartwarming team have appeared on AliExpress. Apparently, they are made by Reese. 
through uh, though um, through who through who knows with the this site they have so many bootleg anime figures on their uh, on there it's hard to find out anything real <clears throat> uh, they come in blind boxes apparently with all the pawns up there available alrighty then so we got no idea if this is official or not ah, ah, mm, okay they, they have the label oh man who wrote this sophisto yeah Seth and this is Ali hmm okay um in my humble opinion I would think that these are official pony toys or pony merch but it's just being sold on Aliexpress by the company who made but by the company you call Reese because how do how, how do I even put this if you are a bootlegger you won't even spend the time to create something new you you just copy whatever is available and just sell what you know is sellable or popular this here takes a lot of effort okay let's 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 check it out let's zoom in so sorry i'm, I'm just trying to process stuff in my brain to see how they would make it it takes too much effort just to a bootleg something like this humble opinion i think this is official it's just exclusive to china so with that in mind let's take a look see i i do like the plush or or the um ornaments they're really cool they come in a box of six with a low chance of getting mod and oh god who's her name again applejack's mom yep but these are cool and yeah I, I got no idea how much let's see what the comments have to say uh okay g5 no g4 unfortunately they are they conjure up image of okay no problem uh nope it's g4 okay why uh yeah but still uh, they are cool and they look fun yeah they look nice like i would put this on a keychain and uh just have fun with them yeah i hope i can buy them if they do come here <laughs> but they do really want you to get them as christmas ornaments so yeah and that's the show for this week so let's move on to the next topic next topic is what have i been doing with my week so what have i been doing with my week besides the dnd &D and magic the gathering like i mentioned before i catch up with a friend who uh, was out who, who just recently came back from out of uh, from another country we hang out we talk for a bit we we didn't really do much um she came down with her mom and they wanted to go shopping and well since i'm around she thought hey why not uh, meet up with me and we can catch up and, and we did we had a lot of fun i brought her around the mall to show her all of the quote unquote collectible what you call this collectible stuff that you can consider as um figurines tradings and whatnot all those gacha pawn things and she told me that uh where she's living now which is croatia i think yep i think croatia uh she said that oh um we don't uh, they don't have that over there uh trying to get stuff like um mochis or even uh, asian stuff is stupid expensive and granted because importing them to a european country is already expensive but it's just that what she also told me that Croatia also has a high living standard. 
if it's true, you tell me. If it's not, you also tell me because I am just telling you what I've been told. But yeah, um, catching up with her was a lot of fun. Uh, and what else? Uh, I, I think that's about it in terms of the interesting new stuff. So yeah, let, let's wrap things up. Let's wrap things up. So anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at tmbshow@gmail.com. You can also uh, contact us. Uh, sorry, you can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Um, <clears throat> also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com/slash/MBSShow. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion on podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and also Master of Black. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the show. See ya.